Welcome to the Go Markets MT4 Tips tutorial. In today's video, we're going to show you how to scroll back on your charts for backtesting purposes and how to stop the chart from jumping forward to the most recent day. Now, as you can see, I have the dollar yen chart open and has been heading south, as you can see. Now, what you'll notice when I scroll back just on the daily chart at the moment, every time I scroll back, it keeps jumping to the most recent day. Doesn't matter what time frame you're on. If I'm on the hourly chart, Boom, it keeps jumping back to the most current day. And when you're new to MT4, this can be really quite frustrating because you're trying to scan back, maybe do some back testing and view some historical information to see if your strategies will be working back in historical information, and it keeps jumping to the right. Now, it really is quite a simple fix. It's just this little green arrow where it says, scroll the chart to the end on tick incoming. If I deselect that, it enables me to scroll back for as long as I want and the information will stay there. It won't keep jumping to the most recent information. So if I left click on that, it'll pop straight back to the right hand side and the most recent information on the chart. Now there is another little one beside that, which is the red tool here. Now what we can do is we can put a little bit of a, a gap in the current piece of information here. So as you can see now, it's not right up against the right hand edge. It's given me a little bit of information, enabling me to maybe put some trend lines on and just extend it forward just to see where that might be projecting if I was using some fib lines or trying to project some price values there. So what you can also do is you can adjust this to more or less every time you click that button there. So that's pretty handy, that little tool right there. So once again, the main one is this one here. If you want to go back and look at historical information, make sure this button here is deselected. And then if you want to scroll back, if you're just somewhere down here and you want to scroll to the most recent information, simply left click on this button here and you'll be directed straight back to the most current information. So that's how we use the scroll tool to make sure that we're on the most recent information or enabling us to scroll back in time without jumping forward. We look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Thank you.